Start by heading over to the Jetski GitHub page shown on screen. Scroll down a little until you see the setup page for your respective operating system. Click through, and here you can see which files you need for both solo and pool mining. Head through to the download link and scroll down just a little until you see the files section. Here is all the different operating systems, so be sure to grab the correct one for the system you're using, which in my case is Windows. So after downloading that, click the open folder button just up here. Then right click and extract the folder to make its contents become usable. Open up the extracted folder and then run this setup file to configure a mining account. To begin, you'll need to input the cubic wallet address that your mining payouts will be sent to. And now you'll just need to input a few basic answers before the setup is finished. For this part, you'll need to look up your CPU thread count, and it is generally recommended to leave one thread available. And after all of that is complete, go ahead and press enter to initialize the mining software. And that's it, your system will now start hashing away. After some time has passed, you can look up your mining rig stats on the pool overview website. Simply back out of this and click back a couple times through the GitHub page. And from here, click on the dashboard of your respective mining method to head to the official Jetski page. Once you've arrived, look for the wallet filter icon just down here, and then input the same cubic wallet address you used during the mining setup earlier.